Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sari. So in this lesson, we are going to introduce ourselves to the concept of strings in C. Okay. So let me launch the idea here. So already I have created a project, uh, string one, string one. So it contains a string one dot C file here. Okay. So a string is defined as a group of characters. Okay. The basic definition of string goes like this: string is a group of characters so you can say group or array of characters whatever according to your uh, convenience since we have studied uh, some, uh, some yeah, since we have studied the concept of array so array is nothing but a collection of similar type of data so since a string is a group of characters we can also name it as array of characters also character array so there are different uh, synonyms okay so based on the convenience of the programmer they can use anything any sort of thing okay so the basic uh, definition or so wh why do we need a string okay so for example uh, when you're writing a program in c or in a, uh, any other language okay so you need to take uh, some sort of data uh, like for example you are building a program for personal data collection okay so you need some data like your name your job description job title or the name of the college as if you are a student okay so in that cases you need a group of characters okay so no one's name is going to be a single character okay so we need a special kind of data type for that okay so the basic definition of uh, uh, can define a string like this so string so let's, let's say the variable name as name here so since we are uh, saying a string is an array of characters or group of characters so the immediately when you are saying a group or array so you need to define using a subscript okay so string definition goes like this the subscript with a range here okay so this is the definition or declaration of a string here so you can assign uh, since we are saying a name here so let us assign a value i am writing my name here okay so this is the basic declaration of a string uh, which goes like this okay since we are calling this group of characters or array of characters you are just taking a character and a character array here nothing but string is just nothing but a character array okay so you can just simply uh, take a character array uh, when you're saying about an array talking about an array you just have a subscript and a maximum range here okay the number of characters okay so in the same way so you can have uh, different types of uh, strings okay different types of strings depending upon the requirement of the program okay so name similarly you can have a uh, job description let's take it as again the range is 20 here let's say as Step processor. Okay. So similarly, you can have uh, let's say email. So all the basic stuff to to take the to take this kind of data. So there is nothing another alternative except a string. Okay. So email ID. So name of the college or university. So you can take something like this. Doctor L B. College of Engineering. So since this is a huge, huge one, so let us take it as 50 here. Okay. Since there is no bound checking in C, let's make it a bigger one. So, so just we have defined uh, or declared four strings here. Uh, name. First one is going to be name, and second one we, we named it as job, email, and college, and etc. Okay. So in order to print uh, this data, uh, so we need to use a printer statement here. Okay, the name is equal to so percentage s is the format specifier. Okay, so until now we have seen uh, the various format specifiers: percentage c, percentage d, percentage u for different types of uh, data types. So the string holds the uh, format specifier as percentage yes so the compiler recognizes that the user is going to so output a string okay so just if you save and run the program here we just get the uh, name displayed here so let us make it a little big okay so name is equal to shikandas so in the same way uh, you can print the other uh, data also okay i'm just copying it and just pasting it four times here since we have four different types of data Okay, so let's change the message correspondingly. 
Tchau. Próximo dia de siga, mano. Tchau. E no same way, email, etc, etc. So, okay, so in the same way, college. So all these printf statements. So hold some sort of uh, messages, print statements, so that the user can quickly understand what he is displaying on the screen. Okay. So you have all the four different strings printed on the output screen here. So okay. So in this way, you can take the basic uh, definition of a string okay so there is another way of uh, outputting the string uh, since we are calling the string as an array of characters here okay so you can uh, so we can make use of an alternative way also okay so this is the very basic old school way uh, using a for loop okay so using a for loop we can uh, print this print the string as well okay so in let us take a variable here int i okay and i is equal to zero i less than let's take uh, so let's take another string here cares let's name it as string itself okay of let's say six and just assign a string to it okay i have just taken another string variable here and just assign the value string to it uh, string to it okay so in order to print uh, using uh, this string using for loop so let us take a for loop here okay for i is equal to 0 i less than 6 and i plus plus so let us take a print of statement okay so percentage c okay so here our intention is to print the string as an array in the format of array here so let us take the string and the subscript okay so all these things we have done in the one dimensional array then we have studied about uh, uh, one dimensional array okay so just we have we can make use the subscript uh, this since the string is nothing but a group of characters we can make use of subscript and uh, we can uh, uh, display the values individually uh, using the for loop here okay so now if you say just uh, save and run the program you just get displayed the uh, string uh, uh, characterized okay so nothing exciting about that okay so you guess you just get uh, the displayed the string uh, characterized okay so here we have taken a for loop and using the subscript of uh, when the zeroth value so he, here we have assigned uh, the string uh, uh, six uh, string we have taken a string and assign the value uh, string to it okay so using the for loop we have just uh, printing uh, in the format of an array here so to have better understanding so let us change our printer statement here so let's say something like this string of percentage t is equal to and let's have a subscript also here so if you see if you observe carefully here in the output uh, we have assigned a string uh, to a variable uh, string here so the zeroth uh, since the string is nothing but an array of characters the zeroth statement would be uh, the zeroth statement would be uh, s the first element okay the zeroth statement would be first the zeroth element okay, in the array okay so the first element would be one and the second element would be r and so on okay so if you want to uh, since we have studied the concept of uh, pointers also you can also make use of that here stored at address okay percentage u you can say something like this contains so all these messages are for better understanding purpose okay so contains the value percentage c you can say something like this i and uh, View here okay so now if you just save and run the program so m percent of or else simply you can say simply you can say m percent string plus i okay 
So since the ampersand, uh, so the days address consists of always, since string is nothing but an uh, pointer, okay. So the ampersand operator gives you the address of the. So there is a mistake here. String. So okay, so ampersand is not necessary there. Okay, so if you observe carefully, the the contiguous since the string we can, we have called the string as group of characters. So group of characters or array of characters uh, since the values are stored uh, contiguous memory locations. Okay, so if you print, uh, we have just made the changes in the printf statement here. We have uh, printed the address also. So if you observe the addresses here, so it it was gradually increased by one. Okay, so character occupies one byte in memory. So for each instance, only the value one gets incremented to the value of address. So once for the first instance, the value of uh, the zero element of the string is stored at the address so and so, and uh, which contains the value of s. Okay. So in the next instance, the values gets the address gets incremented by one. Okay. Since the string is or the character occupies only one byte in memory, so in the next instance, it again gets incremented by one and gets the value of 18 here. Okay. So in that way, you can store the you know, strings or you can print the strings using the basic array. Okay. So one last thing. So whenever you are uh, uh, storing a string, uh, so a null character gets uh, added at the end. Okay. So you need not explicitly specify a null character like this or else. So if you are, uh, so what happens underneath this? So let us take another example here. So char string. So let's say string two. Again, let's take the same one here. So if the internally, uh, as we have seen in the output, the string uh, stores like this. Okay, s and t and r i n and c. Okay, so followed by a null character. Okay, so even though you need not uh, specify this explicitly the compiler will automatically add uh, so add it for you okay so now if you just uh, if you just print the uh, that string to here percentage yes and string to so just if you save and run the program so we have got an error here string to okay so here we have taken uh, it says too many initializers okay so let us take it as 7 here so save and run the program so just if you observe okay so even though uh, so the main purpose of taking like this is even though you don't explicitly add a string character or null character the compiler will automatically uh, add the null character uh, you have to keep in mind that the termination of a, a string goes uh, the termination of the string goes with the null character okay so that is most important thing when you are studying about uh, So this is the basic stuff about uh, the string since here. Okay, so see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.